For every generation, there always rises people in similar fields who are dubbed the greats and compared to each other. This has been the norm for centuries. People select their champions and ally into different camps in support of their chosen ones. Biggie and Park, Lena Messi vs Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron James vs Kobe Bryant, and Wink D vs Ja Prazer. Winky D and Ja Preza have all been phenomenal artists in Zimbabwe, hosting some brilliant brands and propelling their fame regionally and internationally. Hey guys, welcome to the Solar Analyst, the channel where we dig deep to go beyond the surface story. Please stick with us, like, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload new content. Also stick around to the end of this video so that you get links to our channel playlist and more videos on this channel. Be entertained, and let's get on with the video. I think the aspect that speaks to the reason why Winky D vs Jar Preza will always be a topic of debate is because the two are two sides of the same coin. Having started their careers at about the same time, their starts were plagued with average releases and both lacked an identity only to find success in later years. But in terms of head starts, I think Jar Preza had a bit of a viral start, with Sungano as a precursor to the future of what Mukuze Mkwambe was about to unleash on the world. His poetic style and use of live instruments like Mira with a pseudo reggaeton was catchy and the chorus would linger in many people's minds. But we can't leave out Winky D. Wallace Chirumiko had quite a presence in the reggae and dancehall circles. Songs like Rasta quickly found a following and he saw dominance in the reggae and dancehall fraternity. Ja Preza, however, did it better. His music wasn't selective, it wasn't for the ghetto only. It appealed to everyone, both young and old. Winky D's music was more targeted at the ghetto youths and reggae lovers, basically setting a trend for what would be known as Zim Dancehall. If we are to judge using followers on social media platforms, numbers don't lie. Ja Preza has Winky D beat with approximately over 1,171,000 followers on Facebook and Instagram combined compared to Winky D's approximately over 548,000 followers on Facebook and Instagram combined at the time of making this video. At the time of this video, internet sources value Ja Preza as earning more than Winky D, but both men have earned critical acclaim and success with their music and have managed to gain financial freedom from their music and various brand endorsements deals among other sources of finance. Winky D's vigilant music and Ja Preza's now disbanded military touch movement delivered some of the best pieces of music in the last decade. However, Winky D has been criticized for not taking artists under his wing and mentoring them just as Ja Preza has done with artists like Andy Morizzo and Nati O. These two artists have achieved much and have become household names in their own right. Gombwe and Chitubu are part of my top list of Zimbabwean artists album ever. So Winky D vs Ja Preza, who is better? Does it matter? I think it's human nature to want to pit opponents against each other. We see it in sport, film, and even in music. Just like the Biggie vs Park argument. In all honesty, it doesn't matter who is better. Winky D and Ja Preza are national treasures. They have revolutionized the music space and created some of the best tunes to be celebrated on Christmas and New Year's. They have represented Zimbabwe on the international front and raised the flag high. Winky and Ja Preza are flag bearers in their generation, bringing music with social commentary about national pride, unity, the state of the country, poverty, and for me, stand as better role models who only caught the spotlight when it's time to make their music. A massive shift from the usual quote unquote influences. Comparing the two is just human nature, but for me, I celebrate Winky D and Ja Preza. It's an honor to be alive to experience their music, to see their journey and their evolution past local barriers and into the international space. Does it matter who is better or who is richer? Their music shouldn't divide camps, but unite fans in musical harmony. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. If you made it all the way to the end, I truly appreciate you and I hope you found this video entertaining. If you found this video entertaining, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new content. Check out other videos on this channel, share with your friends, let's grow the analyst community. As always guys, I've been the analyst and you have been amazing. I will catch you in the next one.